upon Westminster Bridge by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth is regarded as one of the most famous poets of England. He mostly wrote poems about nature, beauty, memories, humanity, religion, etc. He is mainly known for his love and admiration for nature. This beautiful poem was composed on 3rd of September 1802. Here the poet describes the beautiful scene that he sees from the bridge. Here he describes the beauty of the crowded city of London at a time of the day when the crowds are still asleep and the buildings and ships are all immersed in deep silence in the clear morning's sunlight. The river Thames which runs through London has a series of bridges across it and the Westminster Bridge is one of the older and most famous among them. The poet here describes what he sees and feels standing on this bridge soon after the sunrise. He is also moved by the peaceful beauty of the city. Now let's recite the poem. Upon Westminster Bridge by William Wordsworth Earth has not anything to show more fair. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by. A sight so touching in its majesty. This city now doth like a garment wear. The beauty of the morning silent bare. Ships, towers, domes, theatres and temples lie. Open unto the fields and to the sky. All bright and glittering in the smokeless air. Never did the sun more beautifully steep. In his first splendor valley rock or hill. Never saw I, never felt a calm so deep. The river glided at its own sweet will. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep and all that mighty heart is lying still. In the very first line of the poem that is, earth has not anything to show more fair. The poet begins by asserting that the earth has nothing better to show than the beautiful scene, which means that the scene in front of him is the best thing in the world for the poet. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty. In these two lines, Wordsworth is trying to tell us that only a dull and boring person, that means only a person who does not care for beautiful things would be able to pass through without stopping to appreciate the beautiful sight lying before him, which the poet refers to be majestic. Now, in the coming lines, Wordsworth is going to tell us and disclose about what majesty is there in this sight. This city now doth like a garment wear. The beauty of the morning silent bear. So the city which refers to London is said to be wearing the beauty of the morning like a garment according to the poet. Here the poet imagines the beautiful city of London wearing a garment in the morning. Ships, towers, domes, theatres and temples lie open unto the fields and to the sky. So all the structures like the shapes, towers, domes, theatres and temples, they are all now silent and bare. That means they are now not covered. Here it refers to the smokeless air. Because during the daytime, London used to be covered by smoke from the burning of coal and wood. But at this hour of morning, there is no smoke in the air which is why all the structures look bare and silent and beautiful. So here the poet is talking about the sight of a mighty city which is full of amazing structures made by men like ships, towers, theatres etc. which are spread before the poet's eyes and they lie open to the sky and the fields. All bright and glittering in the smokeless air. 
In this line, the poet wants to say that all the structures which are appearing to be very attractive and beautiful and in the smokeless air, they are all shining brightly and glittering as the sunlight falls over them in the early morning. Never did sun more beautifully steep in his first splendor valley, rock or hill. Never saw I, never felt a calm so deep, the river glided at its own sweet will. Here, Wordsworth says that he has never seen a sunrise like this before, that is, like the sun rising over the quiet city and for the first time between sunrise and the beginning of the workday, the poet feels there is a calm peace which is so deep and amazing. So, through these lines, the poet is trying to tell us that he has never seen the sun in its grand beauty like this before. He has never felt such calmness of the morning, such peace in his mind. This is because the London city during the daytime is full of crowd, hustle and bustle, noises. But at this dawn, that is in the early morning hours, he finds the scene to be so different from the actual city of London. Also, the river Thames is silently flowing in its own pace just below the Westminster Bridge. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep and all that mighty heart is lying still. In the last two lines, Wordsworth says that all the people residing in their houses at that hour are sleeping. And the mighty heart of London, which refers to the man-made structures, is also sleeping. This means that there is no activity going on in London during that time. The city is serene, peaceful and calm, which the poet notices and this amazes Wordsworth.